Hello everyone, and welcome back to Biomorph. I'm back from vacation, and I remember last time we got these cool, these cool fist weapons, so uh, I'm pretty excited to give those a shot. Uh, I know we still had this stuff to clean up up here, so I think we're gonna head back to that, and uh, then I'll probably investigate some of these other places I could have been going to kind of uh, this whole time here, so. I'm basically getting this recorded like day of after my vacation. We got home very, very late last night. Uh, I basically drove like 12, 13 hours um, in the past two days. It was like a seven hour drive to get where we were going with like a stop in the middle and then uh, a six hour drive back with uh, traffic and everything. So. Yeah, it, it was a lot of driving, and I was very, very worn out. Wanted to get my recording done last night, but the, I, I was too tired. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get back into the groove here. Remembering how to play video games and stuff. At least talk to myself while playing video games and stuff. Uh, hi. Um, I don't like this already. Ow, you bounce off the top. Uh, ow, that's different. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was gonna try to hit you with one of those. Ooh, you can keep the charge while you're, uh, while you're moving, which is very, very nice. Well, that's not ideal. Ow. Okay. I'm trying here, okay? I'm very, very much trying. Okay. That was big damage. Ooh! Ow. Okay. Uh-oh. This is not what I wanted. I, in fact, did not want to deal with this. Ow. Get out of here, you little shit. Okay. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I kind of see, though. I see it. I see what we need to do. I was- I just got really, really screwed up by that little, uh, that little baby enemy hitting me as well. I think we can do that, though. Uh, obviously my grenade and my gun don't do, like, crazy damage to this boss, but this definitely does. Um, and attacking just with the fast one is actually quite ideal. I think those were doing about 28 damage per hit, whereas the charge did 90. So it's very much a situation where, like, while the boss is doing its thing, I charge and hold it, since you can't move around with the charge. Um, and then I kind of let the punch go off and then do a full combo when I'm ready, so... This is, of course, also something we can come back to. Um, as I feel more, uh, like, if I feel the need to get, like, some better equipment and things like that. Okay, 22 damage a piece. That's still very, very good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, don't get hit by that. Dodge over here. There we go. Yeah, see, you can attack just so quickly. Like that. Ow. Contact damage. Ow. Okay, that was a little bu bit ballsy of me. Whoop. So was that. Okay. Let's, uh, just clear that out, why don't we? Can you die, please? I really, really, really don't feel like dealing with you. Okay. There we are. Oh, there's the second one, too. Go away, please. Dealing with both of you at the same time is just asking for trouble. Okay. Whoop! Ah! Do I have my heal? I do not. Now I do. Okay, that was barely enough to give me the heal. No. Don't get ballsy and die. Because of stupid stuff. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that fist is really good. Um, it's crazy, crazy good, actually. I do quite like the fist. Like I said, um, I didn't use the charge punch too much there, but it does just have 
Very, very high attack speed. It sounds like they're mowing outside. I don't think it's picking up yet, but... <gasps> yes! That's what I talked about wanting. That is what I talked about wanting. Increased maximum vital energy. That's amazing. Um, I didn't even swap my stuff, so I could have had the do extra damage to bosses thing on, but I didn't need it. Mostly the problem there was the ads. Interesting. Okay. Finally. This can give us a complete report on the status of the control beacons. Okay, yeah. Interesting, so... That, that was... Hmm. I'm trying to piece bits of the stuff together. That looks like the stuff that's like blocking... Like the, the, like the blue barrier is made of. For one, but it also seems like they drilled into some sort of like... You know... Alien fuel source. It, it effectively looked like something like oil, especially since it was being piped out by a pipeline. Um, we may have gotten some context about that, but it's been a few days, so we'll see. Hello. Whoa. There's a map on the wall. Is that where all the control beacons are located? Yeah, it seems like our luck hasn't run out yet. They're all active. Each beacon channels Ferex to the core. Oh yeah, the fer Ferex. Of course. Of course. It's Ferex. It's Ferex. Yeah, I just needed some... <laughs> I just needed some refresher on what we we're dealing with here. So yeah, it's the Ferrex that we're talking about, which is also the stuff that has been infecting some things. If any of those are in danger, they shut down, and then... The core turtles up to protect itself, right? They close everything and let their allies outside take care of the threat. Exactly. That's why it's so crucial for our friends to keep attracting their attention away from the control beacons. Think the core has feelings? The way the system shuts down looks like a reaction to fear. More like a simple self-defense mechanism. The intel revealed it's part machine. If it had feelings or could be reasoned with, we wouldn't be here. Traveled many light years across the stars to get here. Why would they do all that if not to make contact? Take everything from us. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm piecing things back together again with, like, the Ferex and the idea of it and everything. Cool, cool. Ah, finally, coming back to us. You okay, boss? You did that thing where you go all bam and then swing and then nothing. Already been here. I was right there with Cleo. Oh, and what were you talking about? Did it shine a light on how to get into the core? Yes. We need to reactivate the control beacons. There are five in total. We already activated the one near the core, so only four remain. Well, that's great news. I assume this map on the wall indicates their location. Anything else? Talked about the core being scared of us. Ha! Huh, I don't think the core could be scared. It's just a building. It's not alive. No, but something inside might have been. Went inside the core with you, boss. There are no punchable beings, right? Right. I was with Cleo and you guys. I don't think there was anybody else. The core is empty. Aside from Cleo and the machine keeping them trapped, of course. If there ever was something inside, it's clearly long gone. I see your point, but Cleo still needs our help, so let's get those four control beacons. Helios map key! Technological key to activate a map representation of Helios. Thirst for knowledge! Unlock the map in the Athenaeum and carve out your own path. So I imagine this just means I can go wherever I please now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have our locations and it's like, okay, these are the main objectives you need to go find and all that. Okay. Neato. Neato, neato. Let's go ahead and get out of here and now I can just kind of... The game, the game kind of opens up now. Cool. It keeps popping up with the thirst for knowledge thing. Do you, do you really, really want me to look at it? Let's see. Um... Select quests. Uh, missing scar gatos, cryptic numbers. I guess it finished that one. Yeah, according to the Athenaeum's map, this control beacon seems hidden deep in the mountain. This one is in an old military complex. This one is in the Badlands, and this one is high in the former capital of Elias. We still have these cryptic numbers that I need to go back and figure out. So I might do that. Also, what happens if we go down again? 
Because it looks like there's something down there. A little something. Does this just open up to... I guess it just opens up to this room. Yeah. Is that thing going to keep popping up every single time I enter a new room? I don't know. All right, let's let's go back up though, because where I want to actually get to is up here. I just wanted to see what the what the deal with that was, basically. All right, up we go, and away we go. So to the left, to the left, uh, and I want to get over here. So yeah, it said investigate the area. Let's see, cryptic numbers. Uh, and there's, uh, investigate the area near the door to find clues and enter the password. So let's go, let's go back and take care of that, because I'm sure, I'm sure it bothered some people, I'm sorry, that I had to basically just abandon it and, and go about, uh, my other tasks, but... Ah! Oh god, I'm so low HP. Ooh, I should have rested. Let's, let's go back and rest, actually. <laughs> sorry. That might have stressed people out, too. All right, so save. I don't think I need to fast travel. Yeah, we only have 115 plaques, so there's no point in doing that really. But uh, yeah, let's get over here and see what exactly is going on. Yeah. Uh, ow. Go, go away. Hate these enemies. I'll be so happy when I'm not here anymore and I don't have to deal with them. All right, let's go into my own little. Morph ball form. Ah! <laughs> Was not ready for the spikes, I will admit. Wee! There we go. Okay, and then. Not this area, but. The next room was basically where I need to keep an eye on things. So. Hmm. Actually, no. <coughs> oh my god. Random cough. Jeez, I'm so sorry. I'm not sick anymore, so I don't know what that was. Um, so, 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 so. Uh, I just realized that memento that I got, this one, increases maximum vital energy. That's just my max HP. That's not the healing things, I don't believe. So that's something I've got to keep in mind, I suppose. So, it said investigate the area around here, basically, to see if I can find the thing that I want to find. So, it's got to be in this room somewhere. Oh my god, there's straight up one in the background right there. Three. There it is. Little d d d diamond with two smaller diamonds and some triangles equals three. Okay, we don't we we only have to find a little bit more. I realized that pretty quickly there. I was like, oh, there's there's just one right there. Would you look at that? Um, so zero three. We could honestly brute force the last one. It might even want us to. So the middle one, the middle one is three, or no 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 the the, the middle one is zero. The one on the end is three, and we can kind of just brute force the final one. So three. Oh, you do have to confirm it though. Okay, no, we, so we can't brute force it. Um, I do still need to find another one. Okay, so we need to find like, uh, I don't, like a, like a circle housed in a weird little thing. Seven. Seven. Okay. So, 703 is is the answer. That is what we are looking for. Boom. Access code is correct. Activating. I could have brute forced it, I guess, by just constantly putting in the wrong thing until I got the right one, but it's more interesting to actually find the answer any way. Hi. Calamity Bringer. Launch a projectile that generates an explosion upon contact? Hello. You seem fun. Huh. Calamity bringer, eh? Uh, let's see. What do I have here that I could possibly use? You, I suppose, but... How am I going to go about getting up there? Hmm. 
Because I can't... Yeah, I clearly want that, but I don't know if I can get it right now. Actually, if we come across the other side, because there's clearly another way up there that you can go. Get out of here, creep ox. That. How about that? Okay. And now that- Ah! Seriously? Now that you're gone? Yeah, so we, we have to get up this way. We have to get up this way. Alright, and now I swap into you. Boom. Boom. Give me the stuff. Thank you. Damn you. Because, yeah, if you make contact with him, it still hurts you. Ugh. Uh... Eat that? Dead? Okay. Whew. And I can heal. Okay. And that was this room cleared. Ah. Stop this. Go away. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw gas all over you. Here we go. Alright, cool. So, there's that quest done. Well, that is cool. Uh... And most of the other stuff in here is cleared, except for this one room, which... I have listed as I need a higher jump for. I don't remember if that room... ...could be done... ...with my double jump currently. I, I guess I can get rid of these pins. I don't need these anymore because these rooms are cleared. So... I guess we, uh... Delete a bunch of these pins. That one's the only one I still need, like... So I, I can come back for that one at a later point. We don't need to get it right now. That might be something that I could solve with my wall jump, but I, I honestly don't remember. So. Okay, we are back over here. So I think what I want to do with kind of the rest of this episode is just get some exploration done here. See what we can accomplish, all that. So let's see what we can do. Uh, I can get down to the sewers, which we don't really have a lot going on with. I remember I, I wanted to find my house. You know, let's let's check, like, let, let's let's look around for like a quick second. I don't know. I still I still want to find my house. I do remember that was one of the things I was looking into doing. There may have been a comment about it or something, but I haven't read them yet as of getting back. Oh, hey, I came back and talked to this character and they're talking about expanding what the city register can offer me? Good thing I'm here to help you help me. What would you do without me? I'd like to recruit someone trustworthy, someone who I know will get the job done. They thought I could do the job? Oh no, no, not in a million years. I was thinking of add-on. You're good, buddy, but you're not add-on good. Okay, ouch. I gotta talk to her. Interesting. Okay. And if I do that... Oh, okay, and maybe that's how I get access to build that one blueprint that I talked about. Let me guess. Kodun wants me to help him at the city registry? Told him I'd do it if he just asked nicely. Did you help Kodu, pretty please? Ah, uh, good enough. Good thing I had this blueprint prepared. Time to upgrade the city registry. Yes! Okay, maybe this is what I needed. For the house and the other... I mean, it's weird. I feel like the house has to exist if I already built it and submitted the blueprint. And add-on joins us, we'll be able to build so many more things. No skyscrapers, mind you. I'm still the only one doing handiwork. City registry extension. Yes. Cool, cool. All right, that's 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 good to get. That's good to get. New partner. Open your menu and view more details. Um. Uh, Cody wants to expand his agenda. Learn more about the new service with Kodu. Uh, ah yes, finally sheltered from the rain. You're not Kodu, by the way, but how about talking to Kodu? I think he has something for you. You upgraded the city registry. I'm working with add-on. Perfect tag team has been assembled. Nothing will stop us from revitalizing Blightmore. Ready for your big reward? Ta-da! It's your very first community space. Bring it to add-on and let's inaugurate this new service. Really? She's right there. Just extend your arm. Gloomy burrows. Enigmatic and secluded gloomy burrows. Cool. Cody gave you something for the community space? Shocking! I gave him that for you. How about you use this brand new service? And this is how we do it! Okay. Serenity Seat, Space One, Abyssal Enigma. Tranquil Pier, Space One. 
Okay, and then, yeah, space three, I can put various other things, too. Um, Serenity Seat, Abyssal Enigma. I like the idea of Tranquil Pier? Change them anytime by speaking to... yeah. Cool. And then, let's put something at space three. I like Sapphire Harmony because it has a crescent moon. And I'll try to change these around, um, if I can remember. As we go, as we progress through the game here. But that's neato. So I'm guessing space one is over here, and then space three is probably that one above. Like I said, you can see the buildings on the map, even if they're not there yet. So there's you. This is where the bar is. So I need to get here. Well, they did say pier. So no, this is not the one. Not the one beside this, beside this Gargato house. So it's down here, I guess? They said pier, like I said, so... Is it talking about you? Ah, there's a little something. That must be what it's talking about? I think, uh, maybe that was there before? Hmm. It'll, it'll take a little bit of, of, uh, getting things done, but I feel like that looks different. So that must be one spot? It kind of looks like the thing that I picked, too, I believe, so... I think that's the little change that's here. These seem to be purely cosmetic. So... That is something to keep in mind as well. Uh... Yeah, I still don't know where my house is. I have tried looking at discussion pages for this to see if anybody else has mentioned... ...where the house is. But, uh... Yeah, I haven't, haven't really seen much about it, and I... I mean, maybe this is it. It has, like, a little bed. And some shelves. It doesn't really seem to give me much, though. I think it's just a place for more Scargatos to hang out, though, since it's above you. And you have the Scargatos sitting here? Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe that is my house. Yeah, that could be. Actually. It has, like, a shitty little bed and stuff. Hello. Do I have any more? Keep an eye. Okay. Don't have any more of those. So... Let's head over this way. I want to see the other change. The other one said spot three. And like I said, I feel like that's the one that's right above here. Where, uh, Adon was sitting before. I think that's where- yeah, that, that's definitely where they were. Oh, is it that? It's that! Oh, look at you! Okay. And then we can just swap them out whenever we want. So it's just like little fixtures for- for the town, basically, to- Spice things up a bit, I guess. Okay. Um, I do have 228 plaques. Should I... Spend on some things? Trade. Calamity Bringer sounds very fun. It sounds extremely fun. I do need to put that on and try it. But we don't, we don't have any of the upgrade things. Right now. I, I love my fists. Like, the fists... Seem very, very good. Uh, you don't have anything new. I wonder if they ever expand their stock. Uh, okay, I can't upgrade your shop. Okay, so we do have the stuff I need to upgrade these. Maximum number of charges, increase maximum vital energy. When taking damage to nearby enemies, inflict some back. Eh, I'm not really interested in upgrading many of those, and you're sold out. Hmm. I think I might hold on to my plaques right now. In the hopes that something I'm more interested in will open up in the future. Possibly. Okay. Well, we, we've certainly discovered some things. And we definitely have other blueprints that are going to need to go down. So, still don't have anything to build with you. Nobody's as efficient as add-on. No offense, buddy, but you only ever bring me blueprints without helping me. Like, at all. Okay. I'm all ears if you have plans for a community space. Time to beautify Blightmore. Not an official slogan. Alright, yeah, I mean, we, we beautified it a little bit, you know? It's not the, like, craziest change or anything like that, but, uh, it's nice to have. Okay, so... I wanted to put this on, so let's, let's take off that. The grenade is nice, but the projectile sounds very fun. Especially an explosive one, so... Ferox transforming firearm to create deadly explosion. And he seems particularly fond of it. Yeah, I bet. I might read up on uh, more of the lore stuff that we got in that one area, too. Um, just to try and remind myself of details in the story and things like that, but... 
hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.